Darn it, you two. Tammy back with the ribbon says kitten rescue. Um, some of you may have been noticing that last Tuesday's drive is not there. It took forever for it to upload. I don't know what the problem is. If I have any techie friends out there that are following my channel, y'all, would you help a girl out? Most of the stuff gets done on my phone. There's no card in my phone, no SD card, because you can't open up the back of the stupid thing. I've got like, I don't know, a Samsung 5, you know, or something, something like that. Anyway, if anybody has some good techie advice, on how I can get my videos to upload faster. It literally took a week for that thing to upload. It wouldn't even back up on my photos. I have no idea. I don't know. So literally I'm going to edit it today at the office and upload it from there and then hope to God that this one doesn't take a week for it to upload so that I can download it onto my computer so that I can edit it so that I can put it up on YouTube. I'm sure I'm doing this all completely wrong. I'm sure that there's probably some techie people out there that are just cringing at what I'm saying right now. I don't know any better. So anybody that wants to give some free advice, like, send it my way, okay? All right, so there's no Man Up America technically this week. Uh, the good doctor, J. Adam Lowe, I think is in Omaha, um, this week. But the fabulous Rob Alterman, uh, is going to go live from the awesome Bond Life. Anybody that's local in the area, you'll miss now on the bus coffee like never. You need to go there. Just saying. Um, he's going to go live this morning. So I'm going to head over and um, see what Rob's got to say. He went and saw Halloween. I think he did a movie review on that. And he's giving it a thumbs up, I'm pretty sure. I don't listen to critics. I think most of the critics are giving it a big fat thumbs down. But then again, just about every one that the critics give a thumbnail, we all like. So, you know, whatever. Don't listen to the actual critics. Oh, I'm starting to fog up, so we'll, we'll get rid of that. So, yeah, it's 43 degrees this morning. I told you guys, we would go straight from summer, we would have a couple of days of fall, and then we're going to go right into winter because that's just our life. That's how it works here. We literally went from 90 degrees to 68 degrees in one day. I realize 68 isn't all that cold, but when you go from 90 to 68, it is. It was 54 degrees in my house the other day because we had all the windows open. 54. That's a little chilly, um, even, even for me. So um, I'm probably going to make this real quick since I'm going to go live. I don't think it's technically gonna be Man Up America. I think Rob is just gonna go, he's gonna go live, so I'm gonna go help a brother out, because that's what I do, and I like Mr. Alderman, which is a fabulous name. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'm gonna head over there. Maybe I'll get some really good coffee, but uh, I'll see you guys back as soon as I am done, and uh, we'll do the drive to work. Yes, I have the babies. I have Guinevere and Lancelot. They're doing much better. We also have um, Marley, a.k.a. Mr. Thumbs. This is his last week um, here at the Princess Kitten Rescue. He will always be a member of my court. He will be her, Mr. Thumbs. Get it? Instead of sir, we're going to call him her. Yeah, right. Okay, I know I'm geeky. Whatever. I thought it was really cute. Actually, the prince came up with that, and I thought it was just awesome and amazing. So we need to come up with maybe, I need a female name for a night that has something to do um, with kitten lingo. Because men are called sir if they're knighted and women are usually called dame. So I need a cute little pun revolving around kittens. If we do her so-and-so, then we need something so-and-so for the girls. And for all you out there that want to know, yes, I am also a knight. I am a knight of the Order of the White Swan, which is the highest order that we have um, in, in our court. And that is a title that I have in and of itself all on my own that has nothing to do with the prince. Even if he decides to divorce me to get a younger model, right, 
which he'll never do. But anyway, um, even if he did, I still am a knight of my own, right? Whereas I am only a princess as long as I am married to him, because that is his title, not my title. In case y'all wanted to know, I don't, I don't give a whole lot of information on on the princedom and things of that nature. Not because I'm ashamed of it. I'm totally not. I think it's amazing and awesome and cool. I mean want to be an actual real princess, right? I mean, I got a paper on the wall that says so, in case y'all ever want to see it. But the reason I don't give a whole lot of back information on it is to be quite honest because I butcher it. I never get the story actually right, um, you know, and I, I hate to do that um, to his lineage, basically. So, long story short, uh, he is actually related to the Royal House of Stuart, uh, which is actually who is sitting on the throne of England right now. It's actually the female side of the Stuarts, which is Queen Elizabeth. Um, and she is, she is his 13th cousin. I think it's his 13th cousin, um, is, is how that, uh, how that rolls out. Hang on just one second. I got to merge into traffic. You know, I talk about how bad Athens drivers are little better, but not much. I mean, you gotta, you still gotta, you still gotta watch yourself, basically. But, uh, yeah, we've got actually some cool stuff, uh, that has, um, come from the Royal House. Um, we have, we always send uh, birthday cards to everybody, um, every year. They actually reply back, which is super, super, super nice. Um, the Prince actually had a custom fountain pen made for um, Prince Charles, but unfortunately they are not allowed, it is against protocol, for them to take any kind of a gift from anyone in any way and any house. So um, unfortunately we, we do actually have a pen that, that has the Prince of Wales on there, um, but they had to return it because they just they do not allow to do that kind of stuff. I have a friend that actually sent me one of the original um, pamphlets from Queen Elizabeth's uh, coronation, which I think is just phenomenal. Uh, I love that. But yeah, we've got a lot of stuff from the Royal Mail. Uh, we actually have a lot of stuff from uh, the Royal House in and of itself. Um, if you guys are interested in learning about that kind of stuff or um, you know, seeing some of the things that we basically have with some comments down below, I'd be happy to share. I think it's terribly interesting. Um, I'd love to hear about those types of things, but that would be something that I would literally have to get the prints on here um, for him to explain because I'm just really awful at it. Um, I enjoy my title and that's about as far um, as it goes, but basically because I can't, I can't get all the information. Um, correct, but maybe, just maybe one of these days he will agree to come on because he is not uh, not a person that likes the spotlight. So um, we'll try, but put some comments down below if you guys want to hear about that kind of stuff, you want to learn about that kind of stuff. Um, encourage him to let me videotape it. Maybe if you guys, you know, put a little bit of peer pressure on him, he'll do it. Probably not, but you know, it's worth a try, whatever. So, okay, um, I'm gonna end this for right now and then I will see you guys back when I am on the interstate and on my way to the office. Uh, I'll try to post whatever it is that Rob puts up live. I'll see if I can get a link in there in case you guys happen to wanna see the nonsense that we're getting ready to, uh, to talk about. So I'll see you guys back here shortly. Hey YouTube, we're back. Um, sorry for the, woo, that sun's bright. Hang on a second, let me, let me back up on out of here. Uh, just got done doing live show with Alderman. That was a lot of fun. Like I said, uh, the good doctor is actually out of town this week. So, um, oh, hey, sorry baby. Okay, all right. Um, so the actual Man Up America, we're not in the studios uh, this week, but Alderman is going to do his best to uh, do some live stuff, basically, and I think he's going to be at Bond Life tomorrow morning, so I may be there as well as usual. Um, I will put the links for everything down below. If you guys are not watching our show, gosh dang it, you need to, because it's a really good, it's a really good show. 
especially all you local people out there. But you don't have to be local. You know, you can just sign up and follow, and you can watch all the madness for yourself. It's a lot of fun. But uh, that was a really good discussion. Um, I always like hanging out uh, with Rob Alderman. He's a very smart man, um, very intelligent. He has good thoughts, good heart, super sweet fella. Um, but yeah, we had some really good discussions. So one of them was um, concerning the voting. Like we have early voting going on um, in my area right now for all the other people that are not. All my other subscribers that are not local, um, we, we are doing early voting right now and we do that at our mall. Um, he was making comment that he had went the other day, not necessarily to go and vote, he was going to buy a tux, but he went there the other day and he just happened to have taken note that um, there was a very long, long, long line of voters there, which is fabulous. But also took note that basically no one that was in that line was under the age of 55. So, you know, part of the discussion today was, is, well, where's the younger group of people? Why, why aren't they voting? I mean, early voting is geared towards the younger group of people because they want to vote when it's convenient, right? I don't go on election day. That's insane. Um, no, I have not voted yet. I will be voting um, tomorrow because I was informed by uh, the election commission that I was to go down there specifically and bring kittens. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I am going to uh, take the kittens down to see Fran. Hello, Miss Fran. Um, she runs the election commission and she's amazing. Love her, give kudos to her because she has a hard job. Um, but yeah, so that we don't have any really, any young voters and we're wondering, well, where are you? You know, I hear a lot of young people have a lot of very strong opinions um, and we pulled some people out in front of Bond Life today, um, all under 55, and most of them said they had not voted, nor did they plan to. It's important. Um, people need to vote. Um, people, you know, want to believe their vote doesn't count. It does. I, I believe it does. Um, and so you need to vote. So that was, that was part of the thing that we talked about. Uh, talked about Rob getting a tux. You need to buy the tux, Rob, and get the vest. I'm just saying. Right. Um, what else did we talk about? Um, Trump, because you got to talk about Trump. Talked about um, what's going to be going on in Athens this weekend. And um, I don't remember if I said in the beginning, because it's probably been about 45 minutes, so I don't remember what I've said. So if I go over it again. Um, but we are having a Druid and Wiccan ritual going on. Uh, Saturday in downtown Athens from 3 to 6 and I want to go. Um, one, because I think it would just be really interesting to see this, right? Because it's normally, it's not a public thing. So totally want to get in and see that. And then on the second end of that is I want to get some footage for Man Up America. Um, maybe talk to, if I'm lucky enough, maybe talk to one of the Druids or the Wiccas um, and kind of get their opinion, maybe get some information out, things that people don't, you know, that people don't know, like common myths, what they think druids and wickets are. Um, there's also supposedly going to be a protest. So um, if Lucas Brown, hey Lucas, did you like that voice? Um, he may go with me and he does uh, Man on the Street and he's amazing at Man on the Street. So Lucas, calling you out, we need to go. Um, he could do like the, the man on the street thing and go talk to the protesters just to kind of get both sides. Like I'm not trying to sway somebody one way or the other, just I'd like the information from both sides and let people choose their own opinions. I know it sounds wacky and crazy guys, but that's kind of how it's supposed to work. Um, there are some people that, you know, the protesters say they shouldn't be able to, meaning the Druids and Wiccas, be able to do this kind of thing. You know, it's a sin. They're rebuking everybody. And then you've got the other side saying, oh, the church people shouldn't be able to protest. They shouldn't be able to. Oh, hope everybody's okay. Um, but, you know, both, both are incorrect. The Wiccas and Druids did everything that they were supposed to do. They got a permit. They absolutely have the legal and moral right to be able to exercise what they are doing. And on the other side of that, the church group that wants to protest 
legally and morally has that right to protest. Don't have to agree with it, but that's kind of what the word freedom means, is it means that everyone is free to practice. Everyone is free to say. Now that's not to say that it's without consequence, because I, I do think you can do and technically say without causing harm, anything you want to, that is your right as an American citizen, but you also have the right to suffer the consequences of your own actions. That being said, so um, definitely totally want to do that. I think it would be really interesting um, to get some actual information, you know, right from the horse's mouth. We apparently have something that is on fire in Cleveland. That is the second fire truck I've seen by. So I pray everybody is okay and I pray that the firemen stay safe. Um, because that is what we want. I'm sitting here really long red light, you guys. So um, so that should be interesting. Maybe I'll get some footage for YouTube um, as well if I can get permission from everybody for us to basically um, do that. I think it would be super, super, super interesting to see. Oh, what else? Um, did the Apple Festival. That was a lot of fun. We did Man Up America Live. Uh, if you all, I'll put the link in for those things. Again, you'll need to go and watch it on Man Up America off of Facebook, but you can watch everything that we've done live later. The Apple Festival was an absolute blast. Um, I officially got to meet Lucas Brown because although we have talked on many occasions, I had never actually met him face to face. Um, he is very currently becoming one of my favorite people. He's super smart, super witty, has a great sense of humor. Um, apparently, we got along real well, although to hear him say it, he'll deny that. Um, just kind of, you know, what it is. And mostly because he has a glass, a glass eye and um, two prosthetic legs. And he's a barber. It's just kind of how it goes. But uh, I like Lucas. I don't care what people say about him. I think he's a really cool dude. Uh, they put us on air together, which was probably a mistake. But it was fun, and we uh, we enjoyed ourselves. We had a really, really good time. I had some good tacos. I uh, actually had some great tacos. Uh, that was awesome. But uh, So that's what I did um, Sunday, I think it was. Adam had texted me, I don't know, it was like 12.30, something like that. And he's like, hey, we're at the Apple Festival. You want to come on down? I was like, dude, I'm still in my jammies. But, you know, I did the good thing, and I got up and took a shower and uh, shellacked my face and did my hair so that I was presentable and uh, went to the Apple Festival and I'm glad I did because I had a really good time. I, I made a new friend, uh, which is always good. Got to see some old friends and ate some good tacos. So like the day was a success, totally a success. So I enjoyed that, but I'll put those links um, below as well as I always do. You know, I do for Dixie, their link is down below. My link for my Facebook page is down below along with my Amazon wish list. Um, for anybody that wants to be kind and, and generous and donate some supplies for the kitten rescue that's always needed and much, much, much appreciated. Um, the Kraken Kitty Cat Farm will be down there. A regular guy training, I always put his link. Um, we'll put the RGT store down as well in case anybody wants some hats uh, that we've gotten done basically for him. They're beautiful. Uh, finally got all that kind of worked out, so that's, that's basically going. Um, Man Up America, I'll put that link down below as well. Um, so anybody that wants to watch any of the past videos or sign up or do whatever, you guys can do that as well. So um, the normal part of the thing, if you guys haven't subscribed. By the way, I sent, I sent out, right? Like I'm begging people, please subscribe to my Facebook page. Like I'm hitting up all my family and friends. I hit up everybody on YouTube, just begging. Y'all please, you know, help me out. We're trying to get to a thousand. We're still trying to get to a thousand subscribers. We've met every other, um, you know, thing that Facebook says that we need to do in order to get monetized. I'm really, really, really trying hard to get monetized. I don't think you guys realize how much we can do with a small amount of money, with a small amount of funds. Like, I can buy a lot of stuff for these kids with a small amount of money. So it's super important that I get monetized so that not only I can, um, you know, help fund what I'm personally doing, anything that's left over, I can help my local people um, as well, giving them funds or supplies or whatever it is that they basically need because we're always, always in need. So we are up to 99 subscribers. Y'all big YouTubers out there can laugh if you want to, but that's really important. We are almost in triple digits, man. So thank you. I got like 38 subscribers last week for all the people that feel really sorry for me. 
and have subscribed to my channel trying to help me out. Look, I, I appreciate each and every one of you. I, I don't think you guys understand um, how much this can help, but it can in, in all seriousness. Uh, this really, really, really can change my local game, right? And that's what I want to do. It's all, you know, we do well by doing good, and that's really what it is that I, I want to do. I want to do well by doing good and helping out other people. Um, you know, it's just the right thing to do. So that's what we're trying to do. So we're up to 100. Um, and thank you for everybody that has subscribed up to this point. Um, I really wish you guys would start leaving comments down below. Um, let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you guys want to see. What do you want to hear? Because um, you know I can ramble on 25 minutes about absolutely nothing we get out of this guy's way. And I'm good at it now, right? So, yeah. I got the gift of gab. So, um, definitely need some more. We're, we're still a little off, like 901 off, but we're getting there. Um, we've made a lot of strides. So again, thank you to all that are doing what you can to help me out. I do from the bottom of my heart, um, appreciate it more than you guys will know. So, uh, let's see what else we did. Uh, nothing happened this weekend. It was yucky and gross. Um, uh, rained most of the time. It was very cold. I don't like it. As you can see, I'm wearing 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 my thing here. Um, I don't like cold weather. I've told you guys before, I'm a fair weather person. It's just the way that it is. Um, whew, okay, coffee, coffee break. Y'all know how much I love coffee. I was at Bond Life, so I got to have some Vietnamese cold coffee. Y'all haven't been to Bond Life, like, you need some Bond Life in your life. I will put their link below. Along with Brooks Printing, which is the people that do my hats. They're awesome people. Andrea, hi. Thank you so much. Y'all doing a great job. Um, you need any kind of printing, stuff like that, you guys need to go to them. They're a local company and they're fabulous. Um, but Bond Life Coffee is amazing. So I went from cold coffee to hot coffee. It's just a treat all the way around. Hmm. I don't understand you people out there that don't drink coffee, though. Honestly, I don't, I don't get it. I think your wiring's off a little. I'm just saying, like, maybe you just haven't had the right coffee. Because, well, I mean, I like all coffee. It's just, yeah, you know, we'll put that out there. Which I do. Woo! That was, wow, that guy zipped like right. Y'all see that? He just whoosh, whoop, zipped right behind me. He backed off a little bit, though, so I think he scared himself a little bit. He scared me a little bit, just saying. Guy in the black car back there. So, dang. Ooh, I got a little, little Debbie truck in front of me. Chocolate cupcakes. They're good, too. Um, so, I'll get back. Let, let's get back on. We'll get back on track. So, um, yeah, you need to try some Bond Life coffee. That stuff is amazing. All right, so we'll do, we'll do an update on the kitties. Um, we still have, obviously, we have Guinevere and Lancelot, the newest to our court. Um, and we have Marley, a.k.a. Mr. Thumbs, and I can't give his next name because certain people that are watching may then actually know that that is their cat because this is a secret on who is getting this, this lovely little man. Um, so I can't say anything. <laughs> I can't say anything uh, but more than that. Uh, Mr. Thumbs, this is his last week with us. He will go to his family uh, sometime Saturday um, is how that is going to basically happen. He has been an absolute joy, just an absolute sweetheart um, to have and raise. He is very sweet, has a wonderful personality. He's part ninja. He likes to jump and fly through the air. He loves all the dogs. He loves all the cats. He is just Mr. Personality. Uh, I'm, I'm really going to hate to see him go, uh, as I do all of them, but goodbye is the goal, and that is what we need to do. He found the prince's arm yesterday, which means he has to get the heck out of my house um, before he puts an application in for the Rat Pack. They all seem to gravitate towards the prince for whatever reason. I have absolutely no clue as to why, but they do, and he spent the better part of the evening in the crook right here, balled up in the prince's arm. He's such a sweetie. So to the new family that is getting him, he is a precious little soul. I hope that you all love and adore him as much as we have. And, uh, and, and you get much, much, much joy. He's very entertaining. 
Um, and he's a pig, so stock up on the food now, I'm just gonna tell you. Which they won't see this until after the fact. But anyway, um, so he's doing very well and just, just a precious little sweetheart. Uh, Guinevere and Lancelot. Okay, so we're all through. Um, I've gotten the kittens, I think, at this point. We are all healthy. Um, that, you know, ookie gookie poos are gone. Um, everyone is eating, everyone is latching. We've had no issue for the last four days, so I think we're actually um, in the clear. Everyone is gaining weight. Um, we're doing wonderful as far as that is concerned. The age thing that we have with them, uh, I think we're completely and totally off. It's not a hard thing to do when you have one that's that tiny. Lancelot, I think we are pretty much on par. He is probably three week-ish, about three weeks old. Um, he still does not have his lower anteriors. So, but, and his ears are now starting to stand up. So I think the age was appropriate when I got him. Guinevere, on the other hand, I think we have an itty bitty, um, kind of like Lucille. I noticed the other day um, when I was feeding her, I put my finger in her mouth to kind of see where things were. She has her lower anteriors. They normally do not get those until they are three and a half to four weeks old. So even though she is the size of a very small two week old, she was 222 grams yesterday. That's little. Um, Literally, I think Lancelot is like three times the size. I'll try to get a shot of them today. I, I say that every Tuesday and, and, and rarely do I get the film in there. But I'll try to get a shot of the two together so that you can see the size difference between the two. I think Guinevere is actually older than Lancelot. I do. I think she is coming up on four weeks old. She's just really small. She's an eater though. Oh my God, let me tell you something. She has figured out that that formula is good. It's good. And she eats. It's amazing to me how much formula she can take being so tiny. She drinks more than a tablespoon. I don't know where she puts it, uh, but she does. Because they'll drink till they're full, and then they'll stop, basically, on their own. Um, but, yeah, she's eating really, really, really good. So I can't be any happier than I am right now. You kind of see them in the background. The little babies are in the big box, and then Mr. Thumbs is actually behind me. He's in the small carrier. Um, everyone's clear, but I still can't put him in with the smaller kids because he's just too rough. Um, he wants to play. He's just looking for somebody to hang out with, and he's entirely too rough for the little ones. So I can't have them together. But I mean, he's like six, seven weeks old. So um, yeah, they have to stay separated basically for that reason. But the little bitties, uh, Guinevere and Lancelot, they have graduated up to the Chateau d'If. Um, for any of you all that do not know, the Chateau d'If is my little pop-up tent. We jokingly call that because that is a French prison from the Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> What's my crime? Um, so we call it the Chateau d'If because that's usually what they do. They sit at the window and they go, Mew! Mew! What's my crime? What's my crime? Um, kind of thing, basically. So that's that's how we got the name um, for, for that. Uh, everybody else is doing good. Let's see, I don't think anything else basically has gone on. We, I think, are going to be doing Man Up America Live uh, Halloween Day at the block party. We um, have a block party every year in Cleveland on Halloween Day. It doesn't matter what day of the week it falls on, but that's basically when it is. They block off the whole downtown. It's a lot of fun. It's really loud, um, but it's a lot of fun. So um, I think we're going to be doing that, which means I'll, I'll be on the show for that one as well. Nothing's going on with the Princess Garden. Uh, at this point, I think we are at a halt until spring. We did not get our dirt. We didn't get it backfilled, but it is time to close the fountain um, and get it covered up. So we are now going to have to wait until spring because they can't be loading dirt um, when we have it covered because they'll, they'll mess that up basically. So um, I think nothing really is going to happen to the Princess Garden until spring. I'm very disappointed. I'm sorry. I wanted to get footage of that and try to get some more stuff done before it got really cold, but mm, the pond is already covered because the leaves are now starting to fall. I mean, we literally went from 90 degree weather to 68 degree weather. Um, it's up to 50 right now, so yay. Um, 
I mean, that's not cold for this time of the year, but we took such an extreme drop. Um, you know, everybody's freezing. Now, which again is we should be used to it by now because of just kind of how things go in uh, in this in this state. But uh, I think that's probably. I think about it. I can't think of anything else that's going on. getting something you guys need to put it down in the box below again I haven't gotten any comments about doing some kind of giveaway when we hit a thousand subscribers give me some ideas people I want to know what you want um, I want to try to give people what they want so give me some comments down below on maybe what kind of a giveaway we could we could do when we hit a thousand which you know should be really soon